up guys Dustin New here back at the Calgary Flames gym mode 40 15 and 7 we're at the trade deadline in year 8 season 8 so again you guys still want me to trade Gallagher <laughs> um, oh I'm not gonna do that now I'll do it at the trade I'll do it actually at the trade deadline but uh, I think Tyler Toffoli is gonna be the best the best bet for us um, for that second line slash first line so uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go for uh, we'll see if we can get it, though. I, I think we should be fine. Uh, Gallagher. Where's L.A.? L.A. Tyler Toffoli. I think straight up should work, honestly. How old is Gallagher? 28. They're the same age, so. Except uh, he's like an extra 2 mil. But um, offensively, I think he's much better. Um, here, one sec. Yeah, he's got like 90 shooting, 87 slap shot. Gallagher has, yeah, like high 80s. And then, oh, whoops. <laughs> Puck skills are like 87s, 84. Toffoli has 86, 88, 91, 87. Yeah, I think Toffoli is a better choice offensively. Defensively, he's not that great. But, um, you know, it's not the end of the world, I guess. You guys really want me to get him, so I guess we'll see what happens, really. Because um, Gallagher is still pretty solid on defense. Like, he's got 85, 86, 86, but I think you guys want me to have my top six more offensive, so. Yeah. Um, I think, honestly, I think that should be straight up a good trade. Um, I don't know if... I could try maybe getting a second out of it, but... Um, I don't know if that would work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, did not think so. So, what do we have for draft picks anyways? Oh, yeah, we got Carolinas. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, Gallagher. Where is LA again? LA. I think Toffoli has, like, uh, 40 points or something right now, too. Let's see here. Yeah, he's got 45 points, so that's pretty good. Gallagher, I think, only has, like, 30-something uh, 31, yeah. So I think straight up should be fine. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there we go. We got uh, Tyler Toffoli for our team. These guys are bugging me to get him. Or get get somebody, anyways, apparently. Um, yeah, that should, I think he'll be good, though. I think he'll be good. Um, power play. So now we got, like, two pretty solid snipers with uh, Shinkarik. Because, I mean, Yurko's actually got pretty good offense. Um, so... And he's actually pretty good defensively, too. Although snipers base their stats more so on puck skills and shooting than anything. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, Newlander, Shinkrook, McDavid. Yeah, keep that the same. Actually, maybe I'll... Uh, no, that's right, yeah. Honka. Uh, Byron. PK, four and four lines... Um, kind of curious though. Oh, actually, I should probably. Oops. Probably put him in the shootout, I guess. Yeah. To Foley, what do we got? McDavid, Shinkrick, Taves, To Foley, Newlander. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, in terms of, I was kind of curious because somebody was talking about uh, moving Honka down, but he's a top six, so that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense at all. Why do we? Uh, yeah, that's probably a bad decision. Yeah, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's fine. Uh, what do we got here? Third line checker. Yeah, Subban's still a depth D-man. He's having a pretty good year, though, if you look at him. Look at his offense. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, he's got 59 points right now. He would be actually a pretty solid forward, honestly. Look, at, If you look at his offense, 99 slap shot, 94, 95, 89. Passing's 95. His deking's low because he's a defenseman, I would assume. But otherwise, like his awareness is 91. He'd actually be... Yeah, that's a good... That's another option, maybe, for later. But, uh, yeah, we got Tyler Toffoli. We're done with that. We don't need to do any more. Foley for Gallagher, straight up. I think that's a pretty good trade. Both teams needed that. <laughs> I don't know if we actually needed it, but... Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. So our second line definitely just got bolstered up offensively. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, so just gonna check um, who's in net. I think Nemo's in net still. Somebody wanted me to trade Nemo. I, I don't know. Personally, I think we should just run with what we have for goaltenders. Like honestly, there's no point of trading one of them. They're both doing solid. Um, I think Willie needs how many games is that? Twenty five this year. So he needs about ten games. Uh, maybe I'll put him in for just ten games, and then I'll just put uh, Nemo in the rest. He had 36 last year, so we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll do 11 games for Willie. We'll just put him in for straight 10 games. And then we'll put uh, Nemo in for the rest. Um, that way he still gets 36 and Nemo still gets 40, whatever. So I think that should work out just fine. Uh, Toffoli's in there. He's a plus 20, so that's good. We definitely... I don't know. Hopefully he gets points, though. That's the thing, you know? Like, I traded for Yurko, and he completely slowed down on that second line, so I don't know. But they're they're all good players, so it's not like there's something wrong with them. Oh, I'm going to have to do this now. That's great. Uh, we were checking forwards in the dub, I believe. Because we had, yeah, we had these guys right here. Spezza, Muscle White. Uh, forwards, they're, wow. Okay. Maybe we'll go for another six weeks. Might as well. Uh, I think we've only played two games, yeah. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine above Anaheim. There we go. All right, let's keep going. LA Kings, 3 nothing victory. There we go. Yeah, I think Toffoli will help our power play out too, so that'll be good. Yeah, the only thing that worried me was that his defensive skills weren't that great. Wow, 8-4 victory over Anaheim. Jeez. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Dallas. Dallas, 5-4. There we go. 5-4 victory. McDavid's got 22 Genos. I don't think anyone's going to get close to 40 this year. But we have, I think I think the biggest thing is we just have way too many good players at this point. Um, I know you guys wanted me to get all these good players, but really, if you have, like, I mean, the, the main goal is to have, like, one line that's, like, high 80s slash 90s. Um, as your top line, you know, that's that's kind of the goal because it doesn't take away from the rest of your team. If the rest of your team, like your second line is like, you know, 84, 83s, you know. But now we're getting into the, you know, we got Toffoli who's an 85. We got Shincrooks who, who's an 87 on, on the second line already. And that's why some of the other guys aren't getting points like Taves, I think. it's just, I think it's just the way the simulation works. When you, when you put too many good players together, it just... They kind of, they don't keep doing what they would have done normally. They just kind of work off of each other, you know. Um, rather than, you know, the first line does well, the second line does well, you know. It's like, our second line could be potentially a first line on another team, you know. So, yeah, I think having too many good players isn't always a good thing. I mean, obviously we're winning games, but, you know, like, it's not like we're kill Like, we, we won 8-4 there, but it's not like we're killing every team, you know. Like, we're, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, is just I think it takes away from the rest of the players, which is not always a good thing. I mean, these guys are all like low 80s, right? So that's not going to really hurt them. But uh, like we have too many good players up in our top six now. Um, I think you know your your second line. You want to have about 83 to 85s. I think that's normally what you want. Did I not switch goalies? I don't even remember. Uh, oh yeah, I did. Okay, I always forget. Oh, actually, sorry. I wanted to check our uh, AHL goalies. I want to see how how many games he's played. Uh, twenty six. Okay, how many games has Moody played? Forty one. Okay, we're gonna keep him in then, I guess. That's good. That's good. Okay. So Nemo is a net. I'm just gonna finish off the season. Wow, we only got what two weeks left. Hmm. Yeah, two weeks, give or take. There we go. Yeah. So I think. All of our players are probably going to be over a point a game. I just don't feel like they're going to be, you know, I don't think we're going to have a single guy who's probably a point a game. Uh, or, sorry, did I, I think I meant a point every two games. Yeah, like our second line scoring now, yurko has got 24 Gs, but, um, yeah, like Taves has always been a point a game player because he didn't have a lot of other superstars around him. Like McDavid wasn't an 87, you know, he was like an 85 or whatever, and Newlander wasn't anything. Um, by the way, the debate about the comments, you guys keep telling me I'm saying Newlander wrong. It's not, like, if you if you look it up, the Swedish, like, the actual Swedish pronunciation is Newlander. 
Like, that's how they say it. Um, so I say Newlander, like, it's not like new, like N-E-U, or N-E-W, sorry. It's like N-E-U or like N-U-U. That's how you say it. Um, because I wanted to make sure I did it right. So I actually looked up how to say it, like the Swedish pronunciation. Uh, it's not Nylander because, yeah, that's just wrong. That's not how you say it at all. So just in case you guys are curious, because I keep getting comments about it. I've explained it a few times in the comments, but... Yeah, it's New Lander. Like, that's how you say it. I, I've even watched um, some, like, Swedish uh, things when he scored, and that's how they say it. Like, that's how the broadcasters say it. So, holy crap, man. We're doing pretty good right now. Yurko's got 28 Gs. Woo! He's really going now. Holy moly. We're scoring a lot, so that's good. That is good. Oh, wow. 6 1 loss to Winnipeg. Yeah, that makes sense. 56 wins, though, so. That's pretty solid. Um, oh, we got one more game. All right. Vancouver. So, wow, freaking holy hell. We let in 11 goals in the last two games. Whoo wee Not the end of the world, though. Um, so 56, 19, and 7. Uh, let's look at our stats here. I'm going to guess that we finished first because we were on a tear there for a while. Uh, 119 points, we finished first in the league. Toronto finished second with 116. Um, I don't think it actually, yeah, it's just conference, right? Yeah, it doesn't say, like, clinched NHL or whatever. Yeah, so Toronto finished second, New Jersey third, Buffalo, a lot of East teams, and then Vancouver, and then Tampa Bay again. Wow, there's a lot of East teams in the top, uh, top teams here. That's kind of crazy. Um, what do we got here? Goals for 2.88. So it stayed about the same from last time. We were at, I think we were at 2.89 actually. Goals against 2.3. I think it went up a little bit. We were at 2.23, I think. Uh, power play 20.8%. So that actually got better. I think Toffoli probably helped with that. Uh, PK wise 84.2. It, we were at 1.87, which is really good, but we dropped. Uh, home record 30, 10, and 1, and then away 26, 9, and 6, 8, and 2 in our last 10. So not a bad uh, end of the year. Definitely did pretty decent there. I mean, our last two games were just horrible losses, but whatever, you know. Whatever, might as well get them out of the way before the playoffs, right? You know, um, I'll, I'll just look at the stats quick, and then I'll, uh, well, I guess, eh, and then I'll sim ahead a day, and we'll see who we face. So, 82 games, Shinkruk finished with 71 points. See what I mean? So, now because we have so many freaking good players, um, we still have a bunch of players that, um, like, we had seven players a point every two games or better. Our top six players all were over a point every two games. However, because we have way too many players, it spreads it out a lot more in the simulation, right? Um, it's just the way the sim works. So, if we just had Taves, McDavid, and Newlander, and then we had, like, a couple 80... Uh, like I said, like an 83, 84 line for a second line. They probably would have done a lot better on the first line, but because Shinkrook's an 87, you know, he had 71 points on that second line. Toffoli had 65, and Yurko had 59. Like, they, not like I'm complaining that they did bad, but it takes away from the rest of the players, you know? So, I don't know. It's not always good to just have a stacked team because sometimes it works out, but in the simulation, sometimes it just, like, like I said, spreads it out. Like, we still had, like I said, seven players a point every two games or better, which is ridiculous in the season. Like, that's really good. Um, and Ekblad was very close. But, yeah, like, yeah, like we had four players over 60 points. We almost had five at 60 points. Like, that's insane. That's a lot of points. Um, you know, but, eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, Gerby just, I don't know. Maybe it was because he wasn't on the power play. That could have been it. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, to fully finish with a plus 29, that's pretty good. Goalie-wise, uh, so Wilford still finished with the better stats, 2.05, 25, 9, and 1, and 1. He actually picked it up the, like after the trade deadline. He did really sick, actually. Six shutouts. Nemo, uh, 2.34, 31, 12, 2, 3, uh, 9, 1, 7, 6, five shutouts. So he had a, he had a pretty good year, too. Um, he played 49 games. I probably could have got Willie in for a little bit more. Could have, I guess, but... And, I don't know, somebody said that Nemo saw He doesn't suck. 2.34 is, like, a pretty solid year for a goalie, honestly. And, like, anything around a 9.2 is pretty solid for save percentage. You know, this is, like, starting goalie stats. Um, I mean, a lot of backups actually end up having really good stats. If you looked at uh, Al Montoya this year, he had pretty good stats for a, lot, for a while until 
uh, Pavlik went down. They they just started playing like normal again. But yeah, I don't know. If you look at it, a lot of the times backup goalies end up actually having pretty decent stats. Um, whoops. What do we want to do here? Go like that. I want to see who we're facing here. All right. We can look at progression too, I guess. We finished the year early. Holy crap. Wow. Who are we taking on? Uh -huh. uh, there we go. Okay, so we're taking on the Nashville Predators. Uh, I was expecting 39 wins. I wouldn't have guessed you'd pull off 50. Yeah, we got a freaking all-star team. Okay, bud. Uh, our AHL team is 55, 12, and 5 right now. Subban has 40 goals. <laughs> Max Reinhardt with 59 assists. That's insane. Uh, they still have some, some stuff left to go, but... That's ridiculous. So uh, I'll actually show you guys the overall NHL stats really fast here. Um, and then I don't really know if progression really changed. I didn't notice anything when I was looking at lines. So I don't think much has changed in the term in progression. Progression's so messed up. It doesn't even matter anyways. You know, um, but whatever. Uh, NHL. Here we go. So Phil the Thrill had 91 points. Blake Clark had 90 Boucher, Reed Boucher had 85. Clark and Boucher are just d deadly together. They're just a freaking duo. Um, I know you guys were like, get Boucher, get Boucher. I could have got him, but like, I don't, like I said, we don't need another superstar on our second line, you know? I mean, as much as I, I hate to say that, I mean, it'd be great, but look at these guys. Top three. 86 grinder with 84 points. Wow, this guy's actually pretty good all around. Wow, <laughs> man, those, the the Jersey, New Jersey Devils are getting lucky with these three and a half star players. Holy crap! I mean, Clark's obviously a good player, but Boucher and uh, Kunick are both three and a half stars. Uh, Gets laugh at eighty one points. Perry there, Reinhardt, yada yada yada. Um, where did our guys finish? Uh, Shinkrook finished twenty second with seventy one points. There's a lot of players with points. Holy crap, man! Insane. Uh, it's like a defense really fast here. So Ellis had 47. Uh, we had Larson with 42. Again, not a bad year. He did pretty good. Doughty. Uh, I feel like Doughty borderline should win the Norris, but he had t plus 26 and he has 45 points. So uh, goalie wise, let's see here wins. Uh, Nemo finished with 31. James Reimer, 35 wins. Wow. Um, actually, he had a pretty good year. Yeah, but as you can see, like, among the starters who had the most wins, if you look at Nemo's stats, he's actually, like, middle of the... Oh, frick, I keep hitting the thing. He's, like, middle of the pack. Like, Jonathan Quick has a 2.19. Reimer has a 2.24. But then you look at Letton in 2.43. Leonard has a 2.52. You know, so he's, like, right in there with them. Um, yeah, he definitely did decent. Save percentage... Uh, Wilford obviously was up there. He's he's a pretty solid Tandy, though. Like, I don't know. He he could be a starter on another team. We could even look at, I guess, trading him or something. Um, Shoutouts, yada, yada, yada. All right, so I'll just quickly look at progression. I don't think we have anything going. Uh, or actually, sorry, playoff tree. We'll do that quick. Do that quick. I'm like all over the place. So Calgary, Nashville, Vancouver, L LA, uh, Colorado, Anaheim, Winnipeg, St. Louis, Toronto, Carolina, Buffalo, Tampa Bay, New Jersey, Montreal, Pittsburgh, Philly. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to see the a a HL stats? I can show them next time if you guys want. Um, when their season actually like finishes, I can do that. Uh, let me know though. Uh, and then we'll do progress sports. I don't think anything really changed. Newlanders still up here. Uh, Toffoli's actually down right now, so I didn't even realize that, so that's not even good. What the heck is he down one on? Strength. <laughs> Such a joke. Yurko's actually down too, I didn't even realize that too. Uh, oh well. They both had pretty solid years though, so that, that should, realistically, you would think, make sense to fix them, right? But probably won't. We'll find out. All right, so there it is. Leave me, um, some comments about if you guys want to see the HL stats or whatnot. Um, yeah, 56, 19, and 7. Pretty solid year. Again, first in the NHL. President's Trophy, not a big deal. <laughs> you know, we like to win. So, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And we'll get into the series with Nashville next time. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Thanks for watching, guys.